I'm Sharon Bowman, professor at UAT, and today we're going to be making an alginate mold so that we can then cast a plaster positive out of that mold. Uh, things that we'll be needing, mixing spoon, measuring cup, alginate from Smooth On, their uh, cal plaster, mixer, purified water. So the first step is to measure out the alginate. And we just keep track of how much alginate we pour out because it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So however much alginate we use, we use the same amount of water. And the water needs to be purified. If you use just regular tap water, it can change your cure time. And in Arizona, the water is really, really hard. There's a lot of calcium in it. So it can turn your alginate to rock in a minute. And that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a cure time of eight to 10 minutes. The water should be about 80 degrees. If it's cooler, you get a longer work time and a longer cure time. Warmer, you have to work a little faster, cures faster. And so I'm just going to take what I've already measured and pour it into this bucket. And then we'll add an equal amount of water. Um, so now we have our one-to-one -one ratio of everything uh, in our bucket, and I'm just going to start mixing. Um, and basically, you mix until everything is blended, and then you test it to make sure it's, it hasn't started to solidify yet. Once it solidifies, you've gone too far. smooth but it is to the point where we need to get it. I'm going to have my model stick his hand in with his fingers played nice and wide because we're going to use uh, the model, the model's hand to make other things. So just go straight in. Don't go all the way down to the bottom because then you'll wind up with flat fingers. And he's just going to stand there for about 10 minutes. What I'm doing now is I'm just adding things around his hand to displace the liquid and take it further up his arm so that we get a little bit more of his hand. Are any of the rocks touching you? Nope. Using the displacement so that we get more of his hand. And now we just wait about 10 minutes for it to cure. part that we need to do is measure out the plaster so that we can make a positive from the alginate mold we just created. And for the plaster, it's two parts powder to one part water. So I'm just going to finish measuring this out. And the plaster, remember, is a rock. So you should wear gloves. You should also wear a mask. I don't have a mask, but you should really try to avoid breathing rock fumes. It's not good for you. So I'm going to go ahead and do, this is a two cup measuring cup, so six cups of plaster to three cups of water, which is probably way more than we need. but easier to not use stuff than to have to make more. So that's six in there. It's two. And again, this is distilled purified water. 
because if it's not, then it changes your cure time. Turn to rock way too soon. So I'm just going to get started by mixing it with a spoon so that when I turn on the mixer, it doesn't explode rock fumes. Which you kind of see already all over the room. It's going to be completely liquid when you start. That's okay. That's what you want. So you have to find some sort of disposal container. Cardboard box will work, a milk, empty milk carton will work, something where you can pour the excess plaster into so that it doesn't ruin any of the plumbing. And when we come back, this will have dried and we will unmold it. Okay, so we've waited about 12 hours for our plaster to dry and it is pretty rock solid, I can knock on it, and um, what we're going to do is just sort of push on everything, and I'm going to tip the bucket sideways and just try to coax it out that way. If the alginate won't come out of the mold, then you can always just cut away the bucket. So we've got a little excess water that's actually helping to make things slide a little more easily. Just gonna pull and make sort of a big hole. 